guys, what is up? We wanted to start off this video by thanking Morfit for sponsoring this video. And you guys, we wanted to show you what they sent us and how awesome these amazing watches are that I absolutely love. So as you guys know, I have been doing like a ton of walking recently. And so this thing is so awesome because it actually tracks your steps, but it doesn't just track your steps, you guys. It tracks your sleep, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your blood oxygen levels. And it's really cool because it tracks it all through their app. So if you go to their app, you click here, you click the measure, and then it sends it to your watch and it will tell you what your um, heart rate is. Ooh, let's see if I get closer to you if your heart starts beating faster. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's see. Moment of truth. You're okay. sleeping? Oh! <laughs> It's pretty good resting yeah, heart rate that, right I just say that's because Does that mean I'm kind of like an athlete, right? Yeah, you're comfortable and relaxed with me. <laughs> that's what it is. Yes. Marriage yeah. beautiful. <laughs> think, what do you think of your watch? I love it. Let's yeah, see so it. Let's show them yours because yours is a little bit different than mine, which is actually really awesome and perfect for kids, you guys. Check out her watch, too. <laughs> Same thing. She has the app on her phone, and she can check all of her stuff on there as yeah, well. Yeah, and then you just have to click this button down here. Like I have my steps, all that stuff here, and I also have my sleep, and you can even set alarms. Yes, and when I text message her, and if her phone's not on her, her watch will give her a text message alert. Yeah, like a notification. Yes. Yeah, so it's really cool, you guys, and I'm gonna tell you right now, the best thing about it is how affordable these are. So if you wanna get one of your own, they have different styles. As you can see, these two are the ones that we have. Go check it out. We'll leave everything down in the link down below so that you guys can go check it out and um, get one for yourself. So let's get on to the vlog. Hey guys, what is up? You guys, we are starting off this vlog. Me and Ethan actually have a few errands we need to run. He, wow, what was that move? <laughs> We'll call him Zombie Ethan for the day. So we have to actually go to Target because he needs some things for his, um, like a school project. You're making like a catapult? Yes. Okay, so he's making like a catapult. So we got to get some things for that. I've got to mail a bunch of your guys' orders off. We got some of your orders over there of your guys' uh, V-neck shirts that you guys ordered. So I'm excited to get those out to you. And then we also need to go get this guy some new shoes. shoes. New shoes so that he can walk with me tonight because it is soccer practice night. And I love getting some time spending with them and walking. And you guys, he's honestly growing out of all of his shoes. So we got to go get him some new walking shoes, just new tennis shoes in general. So. Here we go. All right, what are we looking for? Uh, rubber bands, duct tape, hot glue, popsicle sticks, plastic spoon, ping pong balls, paper cuts, and marbles. Oh my mama. Okay, here we go, let's do this. We are here in the game aisle looking for marbles and um, I'm just looking at all the games. Let me know down below what is your guys' favorite games to play. We just got this new game called Exploding Kittens and it is seriously so much fun. We absolutely love it. You guys, we cannot find any rubber bands for the life of us. Like what section would that be in? Because we are- be in the rubber band section. We are in the craft section, right? Yeah. And we cannot find them so we're gonna Go on the hunt, that's the last thing we need. Boom, you guys, we it's, found them. Look Hello. how smart I am. Buy oh, all can't. the office supplies. <laughs> Duh. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. It makes sense, huh? That makes sense. <laughs> Boom, now we're at Big Five. Gotta find this guy some shoes. Yeah. You looking for what, Nikes? Yeah. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, so we got Ethan's shoes. Ethan literally went up two sizes, went up two sizes dude. Because before I was wearing fives, and like my toe was like would be like crunched up like against my uh, my the, the, the top. Literally two sizes within yeah, a so summer. Now, so now I'm just like, dude. Yeah, and I got the shoes Christmas. That's crazy. Yeah. You guys, we are as you know. Danny just pulled a prank on me the other day with Elijah. Go check out the video if you haven't seen it yet, but. You know when he pranks me, I gotta pay him back. So we are gonna try to pull the ultimate prank right now, you guys. 
I am going to call him and pretend like I was pulled over by a police officer and for speeding and tell the police officer that the reason why I was speeding is because my husband fell down the stairs and I'm going to tell Danny that the cop is following me home to make sure he's okay. <laughs> So I want to see if Danny will actually make it look like he fell down the stairs. So what do you think, Ethan? Is he going to fall for it? I don't know because there's a chance he's already seen this. It is. It's on TikTok, but he's not on TikTok very That's often. Yeah. So let's see. Let's give him a call right now and just see what he does. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's going to be... I, I can't... We can't laugh. I, we can't. Okay, no laughing. Oh. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, here we go. Calling him. Speaker. Hey, babe. I was just pulled over. Okay. I literally was going like 25 miles over the speed limit. And so I literally, I had, I had to tell the cop that I was rushing home because you fell down the stairs and now he's following me home to make sure that you're okay. What the, why would you just pay the dang ticket? I'm not paying the ticket. Well, you need to make it look like you fell down the stairs somehow because he's literally, <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. So you need, you need to make it look like, I don't know, like maybe like you were carrying something down the stairs and like, just make it look like you fell down the stairs. He's literally behind me right now. This is so stupid. <laughs> Babe, please, for reals. Do we know? I'm gonna be in more trouble if he finds out I was lying to him about you falling down the stairs. I don't even know. Okay. Okay, I'm not I'm not that far from home. Maybe like maybe ten minutes is all you have. Ten minutes? Ten minutes. Okay, I gotta go. He's watching. Come on. I'll I'll, I'll see you when I get home. <laughs> he hung up on me. <laughs> You think he's gonna do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, now I gotta drive home and I'm gonna walk inside the house with the, with the camera and see if he actually did it. All right, you guys, so we just got home. I'm gonna walk in right now. We're gonna see if he actually fell for it. Call it right now. Did he fall for it? I don't know. Let's go see. Babe? Oh. Hey, he's coming right behind me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> told them <laughs> you just got pranked what's up you guys tina got me good yeah, with I got that him prank. Back. Hey, bro. oh man <laughs> that was awesome serious you guys this prank war is actually kind of fun oh, no. and i'm glad we're kind of like bringing it back are because, we bringing it back oh we're bringing you, it back girl you, you think to i'm gonna you think i'm gonna oh, end it on that yeah, yeah right you started it oh, it ends with me oh yeah so you go right again, I go again. oh whatever, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so we got ethan over here doing his catapult that he went shopping with mom for yes and you've already got the first part of it done i've got i've got this part done so wow right. so he's got like the catch of the catapult that flings it yep. but he's now just got to kind of get the whole mechanism done where it actually like shoots it right yes you get that dude how awesome and ethan got new shoes you guys saw he's like, he went up two sizes yeah. you can tell he's been wearing lots of flip-flops lately because we because yeah. he hasn't been wearing shoes yeah. all right so here we'll show you all right so i make this real fast it's just like a homemade thing so i got a classic spoon and duct tape duct tape it to a cup that i like cut because like it didn't fit on like the actual spoon as well so i made this and look here i'll go back here like this Whoa! Oh, cool. oh, oh, oh. That works yeah, so crazy! Yeah. So I just need to get the base done and everything. Good. Dude, that's awesome, E. Yep. 
Cool, so as you guys remember, we had these from a previous sponsorship, these cat toys, and um, I'm gonna have one of my friends who actually works with children with autism uh, at a, like a community center, and so we're gonna donate these to him. So he's gonna come pick these up soon. That's why they're out, out in the open right and here. And honestly, don't mind our messy house today because I have literally had no time to clean anything. It is just fine, babe. It's just it's fine. Just fine. All right, you guys. So we are here at soccer practice right now. I don't know if you can hear me. It's kind of windy outside, but I got Ethan, my sidekick, here with me. Yep. With his new shoes on. Yep. Gonna walk around town. Actually, we're gonna walk our couple miles. We might do two or three. We're not sure yet. I'm gonna pick Elijah up on our way back, and then I might circle back around and get Ethan again and do three laps. We'll see how we feel. The sun's going down pretty quickly, so. We'll figure it out, but here we go. Let's do it. Round two, we got this guy with me. Yeah. You ready for this? Um, yeah. Well, he's definitely got his walking shoes on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I felt a little lazy before we came. He didn't want to put on his tennis shoes, so but he still wanted to come on a walk, and I was like, all right, you got to keep up. Our socks are not organized. And it's so oh, hey, shh, shh, shh. Go, hey, shh, shh, shh. You're not supposed to tell people that. Remember, we're supposed to have be perfect at laundry, perfect at everything. I'm supposed to be like super mom. You're not supposed to say it. We have mismatched socks oh, everywhere. But like, but like I was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom does everything. Like yeah. That. Okay. <laughs> All right. You ready for this? Yeah. One mile. Here we go. Like one full mile. One full. Exactly a mile. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Let's, Let's go do it. it. So we are back from soccer, you guys. Actually dropped, went over, um, it was uh, one of the missionaries' birthdays in our area and uh, his parents messaged me and were like, oh, it's his birthday. It'd be cool if you could swing by. So I went and swung by and we brought him some ice cream. So now we're back. Ethan's working on his catapult, finishing it up for school tomorrow. You guys, I've got Panda. Everyone else had eaten in the, on, in the car <laughs> while we were dropping things off at the missionaries. And uh, Ethan's gonna get this done. How much more do you think you have? A lot or? A decent amount, not too much. Maybe an hour? Probably around that. Or probably a little less. Sweet, we gotta check it out as soon as you're done. Boom, so Ethan's catapult is done. Let's see if we can get it. So if we could make it into the first bowl, which is one, three feet away, one meter, six feet away, and then... Uh, I, I Made off camera the, the one 12 feet away. I made that one somehow. Let's see. Here we go. Alright, a little bit too much. A little bit too less. Oh. Oh, oh that, that one was close. close. Pull back a little bit too far. Oh, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> So you guys, he made this out of just tape, um, crafting sticks, like popsicle sticks, and plastic spoons, and a Dixie cup. Think you're gonna get an A or what, dude? I hope so. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> so, it is now the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are basically in bed. Ethan is finally done with his project, you guys. Overall, actually a really good day today. Yeah. Kind of, it's kind of a normal day, honestly. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, but you guys, I got my steps in today. Ooh, Actually, how, many, how many did you end up with? I didn't end up as, with as many as I wanted. I ended up with 6,140 is all. Oh, that's still good. That's still I was in good. the car a lot today, but Amberlynn beat me out. She yeah, got she like, like 11,000. Yeah, she got like 11,000 because she was at practice like running around and doing all her things. And I even walked two miles today. I'm like, come on, gotta hit that 2K. 
<laughs> so we figured like each mile is about 2,000 steps. Yeah. So that's, that's still good. It's yeah. still really good just getting out there and moving around. But yeah. We do have good news about Braden. There's rain in Oregon, you guys. Woo! Woo! So don't know how much it's doing for the fires or how much it's allowing them to be contained, uh, well, but hopefully it'll clear up the, the air quality. Yeah, that's what they're hoping for. They're like, uh, if we could get some rain, it could clear out this smoke and then hopefully they can get things going and back to normal. So he's actually finding out tomorrow where he's going next, like oh, his next area. So I'm 18. hoping it's like, away from all the yeah, crazy stuff that'll so. be nice so we'll fill you guys in yeah and that way if you're in oregon and he's going into your town we will let you know yeah because Braden's always said i'll totally up if the fan bammers are in my area to meet up with them yes so. he would love that i think that would be so fun so he's doing awesome you guys he's remained positive he's been able to call multiple times text us multiple times just to like give us updates and things like that and yeah we obviously awesome. we obviously talked to him the other day for a little bit and that was, that's always nice so every monday we talk to him as you guys know we've been talking to him a little bit more since this whole fire thing has been going on he's been able to call us three times a week yeah. so that's been nice too it has been it's been really nice so yeah. there's a little tiny update for you guys on Braden. he's doing well the fires are not like right near him it's just the smoke air quality and hopefully that will be all cleared up with the rain yeah so, so there you have it you guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and most importantly don't forget choose your day